Welcome to Most Day TV. My name is uh, Mo Tenzenke. Kai Tenemann and yes, yes, yes. It's a long, long time ago. I started uh, with the making of, of the uh, Warhol 67 uh, bug tutorial. And uh, yeah, <laughs> finally, I found time to uh, go forward. So, uh, yeah, uh, as we say in, in Germany, especially in Nord, North of the Germany, nicht lang schnacken, Kopf in Nacken, ich weiß nicht. So, uh, we start. Okay, the first thing is, um, I have to say, um, uh, in this case, um, this, this part today is about the modeling of the bug. And uh, in, in my special case, this bug is, is very simple because I know uh, I will build the most of the stonish look with. Uh, displacement maps and textures and so the bucket himself can be very simple and very easy yeah we don't have to model uh, a very detailed uh, natural uh, bug and uh, the second part is uh, I didn't use our, our original bug and model it from a picture directly or something because uh, I like uh, that this animal uh, looks like a bug, but not like a original bug from from our Earth, because you you know it's, it's some kind of, of space bug or something. Yeah? But at the end, uh, I oriented uh, heavily uh, on a classic dung beetle, and so I um, I think it's maybe a, a good idea to start. Uh, more the classic way today for you, uh, and uh, yeah, but please have in mind this is no hardcore modeling tutorial. It's, it's just uh, an easy thing to do this bug, and it's just uh, the way I used in this case. Yeah, but for you, we start in more traditional, and this means before you modeling something, you uh, have to look uh, at some examples. Yeah, and <laughs> of course. You can do it. Go to the internet, yeah, <laughs> and type uh, what you're searching. And in this case, it's, it's the dung beetle. I did it for you. Here, dung beetle pictures, and this is what Google bring out. It's a much, much. <laughs> this? Uh, yeah, some pictures of of dung beetles, and in our case. Uh, to, to modeling, it's best to have, have one from from above and one from the side to to bring it directly into Cinema 4D and use it as uh, uh, I don't know the English word. Sorry, as Vorlage. Mm. Uh, not at the moment. Sorry. So, but uh, I think. For the top view, I found. Oh, I, I still found some pictures. Sorry, here it's very great because uh, there's, there are different bugs. I save it uh, to my. Ooh, sorry, it's a bit early in the morning. <laughs> so it's um, making of. Where, where is it? Making of, making of. Bug making, part two modeling, yes. So, some top bugs. Okay, this is great. And in best case, you, you find a picture from, from a side view to uh, have information uh, about the thickness and something from the back. Uh, of course, in our case, we can do it freely, but uh, to make it right, I search something. Yeah, no, not so long. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, and uh, in, in my special case, I, I didn't use the original uh, dung beetle because I, I didn't like uh, his legs. Yeah, The original dung beetle legs, like in this picture, lying like some useless, useless things. Yeah, so it's, it's a bit strange. And uh, my bug gets some more um, tentacle, uh, not tentacle, uh, arachno. 
leg so because they uh, they are more powerful I think and maybe uh, making my back a bit more alien than the original one so okay okay give me a side oh this is interesting yeah but uh, attention it's just a painting and when you use a painting it's of course possible that uh, the one who paints it uh, did some mistakes yeah so it's interesting but not the best one and in the best case you you find some proper side view from this and this is interesting too oops <laughs> yeah but too tiny come on okay it's it needs too much time so I, I, I think we, we just start in 4d with the modeling okay let me uh, have a look uh, on the top views and we choose one of them maybe how looks nice who looks nice um, yeah maybe this one yeah okay so I cut them out and save them um, uh, it's JPEG 2. Yeah. What you can do in cinema now is oh yeah, this is my, my own first step for my bike. You see it's it's very simple, you know. Yeah. And now we try it by yourself. Uh, in this window it's uh, no in this window, sorry, it's a top view. You go to option configuration. And back, and here you can give uh, the image I, I saved right now. You know, okay. Oh, <laughs> that's uh, interesting. Why it turns? Okay. So. And uh, now we have your uh, any picture in the background of your uh, 3D viewport, and you can choose uh, making it a bit more transparent because it's it's better to to see your 3D objects, yeah. And I start with with the uh, body from this, so it's very easy. And, and you see what I did? I, I just uh, make a cube and set him. Um, over the body to to become the more or less size. So and now it's interesting because um, um, I have to uh, subdivide it uh, and um, to to bring the right uh, proportions. And I make this right with the uh, subdivision possibilities of the cube. So this is a Z direction, so I give them more subdividings in the Z direction, you see. Dum -dum. So, not too much. Uh, but uh, for me, I, please have in mind, um, I like to subdivide uh, this back from the back further, <laughs> because I like this, this uh, lines in the back. Okay, we can show my original model for this. Step 2. Delete the original textures because it's very dark now. Okay, not much is done. Step three. Ah, you see this. Yeah. Okay, and, and, and you can see for my original bug, I uh, choose one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight uh, subdividing steps for the cube. So, one, two, three, four, six. Ting, ting, ting. So, and this is my original dividing, and I use this too. Um, uh, but, but maybe not, and I can show you how we can subdivide this later. Yeah, okay. So, and this is from the top view. From a side view, I have to choose at the moment because there is now a proper picture from a side view. 
uh, the thickness by myself. I think uh, it's it's okay here. Yeah. And now, um, oh, there's something strong with my stick, so it always hits because there's this key on this button on the stick is not proper walking. Sorry. So, choose this, then translate to editable object, and because we are from the top view, we can choose point selection, and this is important, only select visible elements, switch it off, because when I choose a point from the top, I like that the point on the ground is uh, selected too, you know? Okay, and now it's very easy, I just grab the points here and scale them to the right size. Same with this, same with this, same with this, same with this. So, and uh, the only important thing is, uh, in, in our case, it's, it's not so important because um, uh, this, this model has to be more detailful at the end. But uh, normally you have to, to watch that you, every time, um, just working with quad uh, polygons because uh, when you like uh, to to give them later on uh, a subdivision surface or something with this uh, in the past called hypernerves and now subdivision surface you can watch it in the editor so everything uh, become uh, smooth but uh, just when you use uh, quad polygons yeah when you have triangles then you become very uh, unlike um, folds in this thing so what you have in mind in this step is please whatever you do try to have quad polygons yeah okay so that is a basic shape from from the top it's okay for now so and uh, yeah, now from the side view, it's it's maybe interesting to to divide them in this direction too. You can choose uh, a loop selection, very easy, and now a knife. Of course, we uh, we can uh, subdivide it uh, before we start working too. But anyway, we can do it now. So. Uh, mode is loop the same with create anions no no i like to cut it to stick to selection it's okay so and now we do uh, a cat in this direction Zack. and another one so and now it's easy <laughs> you just have to select uh, the top polygons from this bag from this zoom back and shrinking them a bit like this. Yeah, okay. And uh, button ones too. And you see, more or less, <laughs> more or less, yeah, we get uh, the, the shape. Or, and, and at this point, I have to watch my origin and model. Ah, you see, there's more. <laughs> More detail in this, yeah. Okay, and uh, maybe we have to uh, give a more uh, dividing in, in this this area. So, but it's very easy, yeah. Loop, knife with loop, and zack. So, and when you choose now, um, the rest is is just like. Uh, Yeah, like working with, with clay or something, I, I'm always thinking. Um, so, it's a very clean uh, curve. <laughs> yeah, you see, <clears throat> it's interesting. In this case, uh, I choose uh, to, to divide it a little because select all 
and again a knife but now a line stick to selection yeah visible only no and uh, when you hit here with the mouse and putting the oh gosh what is this i, I don't know how the name is this key <laughs> Zack. you see you make a, a, a straight line okay hope you see it okay and then that means uh, my, my back is uh, subdivided in, in the middle so okay now I can tweak it a bit and give them more interesting shape. So you see, it's it's very very straight, very boring, and maybe we can walk from from the side now and give him a, a more interesting shape. This is a front. This is a back. Okay. Uh, I have to sneak my own my own back. <laughs> okay, okay, I do it like this. So um, again, choosing uh, vertex and selection. Always uh, when you working through this object, you have to. Uh, skip this just use visible uh, elements and yeah what can we do um, so I select this give him uh, a bit more curved face like a sport car or something <laughs> so okay and, and, and from this point is of course uh, you can do what you like yeah you know, there, there is no need to to model uh, the real uh, back uh, if you like uh, elements uh, a bit different or something. It's it's cool. <laughs> Can do it. So the only thing is uh, you've always uh, be careful what you do uh, in terms of selection because you see I switch this on when I select the uh, the lower uh, vertexes. When for example when you do this not yeah. Uh, something can happen that you select some points and because in this case the selection goes through the back you select something you didn't see at the moment and when you change them the the, uh, the selected by uh, accident once change uh, two and it's not nice so you always have in mind um, that you did the right selections yeah and uh, so it's uh, needful sometimes to switch this on and off. Okay, so it's it's uh, enough for me for the moment. I, I think um, in in the original bug case uh, I did more things, uh, but in our case it's okay. So maybe uh, you can give them a more natural polygon flow. Yeah. It's it's um, not so important for, for our case, but um, normally uh, when you modeling something, you always have to look even in this uh, raw situation uh, that there's nice uh, so-called polygon flow. Yeah. Okay. This this ones are very. So I think it's okay for a moment. It's okay. So because uh, the nice thing is on, on modeling on a computer, uh, you can always change things later. It's no problem. So what we have to do now is watching the original bug. Okay. Yeah, it looks similar. Yeah, you know, <laughs> not really, but okay. So and maybe in this case we we do the the rest of the bug um, to have raw versions of this too. Um, I do it now without much words because it's it's very uh, same doing this. So it's the size, and uh, in this case, I, I know I subdivide it later, so I uh, choose the right subdivision right now, and yeah. 
Okay, translate, selection, and here we go. For example, when you're always using the same tool for uh, like this uh, scaling or so, you can switch uh, between your last tool and the actual tool uh, with the space. For, uh, at the moment we have scaling, when I hit space, I'm back on selection. Space, scaling. And it's very helpful to, to uh, have a floating workflow. So, yeah. But in our case, it's okay to do everything very slow and very careful. It's okay. You don't have to be a speed modeling master. But it helps. Um, in, in the early days when I start with 3D, uh, I didn't remember right, but there is a forum uh, called CG Talk. Dot com uh, where much uh, 3D artists uh, talking and uh, sharing uh, experiences and, and there were um, speed modeling contests in the past yeah and it means not uh, only uh, to to know how you have to modeling something uh, they giving uh, your for a special object just uh, a limited time like uh, one hour or something, yeah. And uh, in the past, to train my modeling uh, skills, I often uh, take part in uh, such competitions and it helps. <laughs> when you, uh, yeah, when when you have to train your uh, skills uh, in, in special uh, things uh, in three D, uh, yeah, not just try to. Uh, uh, more something, more something in a limited time. <laughs> so, yeah. and it helps to 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 get ideas how you can uh, speed up your workflow. And and uh, there are so much uh, modeling tutorials out there. So this one is it's very basic. And uh, when you're more interested in improper modeling in 3D, uh, go uh, to the internet and and watching for some tutorials. It's uh, not important with software is to use because uh, nowadays all the different packages have more or less the same tools. Yet yeah, it's, it's maybe and sometimes uh, the tools are uh, have uh, different names or something. But when you see what the guys doing on the screen, you just have to to in, interpret it for your own software. In this case, Cinema 40. And there are so much very great tutorials out there. Yeah, when I started with 3D, uh, my, my main interest was uh, 3D characters and, and characters is of course uh, yeah, way more complex than uh, stuff like this. And uh, yeah, I, um, okay, the, the first five years or so when I using Cinema 4D, there wasn't tutorials because there wasn't the internet. <laughs> But nowadays it's very easy to, to train yourself. Okay, so this is uh, yeah how we call it a uh, neck or something yeah, and um, you see it's it's the same thing. Um, always just choose the parts uh, I like to change. Oh, and uh, what I didn't uh, do in in this case yeah okay. In this case, is uh, there is uh, some technique uh, you can model everything uh, synchronized with. Oh, strange. Oh, sorry. I. Yeah, it's it's um, it's this uh, wireless uh, keyboard. It's sometimes not so easy because the. The keys are different than uh, from my ones, so um, <laughs> sometimes I I miss the right key. So okay, what uh, so, uh, yeah, what I like to to say is uh, we we have in Simon this uh, how it's called um, symmetry object. Yeah, so normally you can uh, model just uh, one half of a character and. Uh, the rest is made uh, via the symmetry. It's, it's working in most of the cases, but uh, in our case, it's so easy that, that <laughs> I uh, didn't save much time when I do it in, in this style. 
Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. I, I am a bit bored from, from this modeling stuff always. So I speed up a bit, yeah. Sorry. So, but uh, like I said in, in the first part, uh, the last ones are more interesting, the, the MoGraph stuff and, and so on. Because uh, I, I know um, modeling is, in, in most of the cases, you, you know what you. Oh, sorry. You know what what you like to to become as a result of your modeling. Yeah, it's, it's just working, and then no surprise uh, when you're working with uh, more graph or some party stuff or so. Yeah, it's it's always interesting because you can choose and change some parameters and uh, uh, watch what happens. Then it's it's uh, more surprise in this. <laughs> and modeling is one of the stupidest thing. Uh, the only uh, exception is when you do characters, yeah? When you create characters in this very moment uh, when you're modeling them. This is uh, a part I, I very like, yeah? And uh, I did it much in the past and it's always interesting because uh, I like the, the fact that you can, uh, when you do the character modeling in 3D, you can change every time, yeah? It's, uh, I, I, don't uh, do uh, much scribbling or something uh, for characters. I start directly in Cinema 4D and build uh, the, the head of a character and something. And um, it's very cool because it's it's uh, polygon stuff. Yeah, you can uh, shoot them uh, and change them every time. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's for me uh, much easier than on paper where you draw a line and when you dislike this line you have to uh, clear them and uh, draw over and it works just a few times and so I really like to do it directly in 3D. It's the best way I think. So okay okay but uh, when I speak so much my modeling is slowish. Okay yeah I'm, I'm afraid this didn't look very good this time. But it's just a basic technique, you know, and, and it's very easy. You see, I, I didn't do more than uh, choosing some uh, vertexes. Vertexes, by the way, is, is the word for 3D uh, pixels, you know, <laughs> and uh, just change the vertexes to bring the overall shape in the direction I like. So. Okay, it's just a blob. <laughs> this is, we can watch it from from the top. You see, I'm I'm not very uh, tight on on our original because uh, when I see it in the 3D space, uh, I'm um, it feels not so right. So I, I change it on the fly. So and I make it a bit smaller. Because uh, I, I made the body a bit smaller, and uh, so this thing has to be a bit smaller too. So, and at the end, the head again, a cube. So, oh, uh, by the way, this this technique I used at, at the moment is called uh, box modeling. Yeah, because I, I use this this cube, a box. And yeah, that's all. <laughs> okay, so this one. say uh, in this moment it's, it's, it's maybe nice to have some uh, reference picture uh, except the top view so you can more see the proportions of, of the head or something yeah and then you see it's, it's very interesting because uh, the dung beetle is existing in so much different 
types and styles. It's so cool because uh, the, 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 our nature on this planet makes so strange creatures. Yeah? You, you don't have to uh, go to alien planets to, <laughs> to be very, very uh, excited. Okay, so this one, this one. You see, it's it's um, at the moment I'm not so very into it. So, oh no, I'm always uh, shooting the wrong vertexes and not the ones I like to. So, and this one, and you see. There's uh, some way went wrong. Uh, we have to repair this. So, so but the nice thing is uh, when when everything is isn't uh, hundred percent um, symmetrical or something. Yeah, who cares? <laughs> it's it's your creature. You can do what you want. Yeah, you know. And sometimes uh, I like this fact. Uh, uh, that that you uh, you have to to be uh, mathematical uh, right uh, with this stuff because no living creature is is pure uh, perfect on and 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 symmetry and so on so yeah it's okay in some cases uh, it's it's better uh, to to be in symmetry for for the raking later or something but yeah. In, in the worst case, when you have everything very straight and, and very symmetric, uh, your character looks just a bit synthetic. You know what I mean? Okay. So, that <laughs> very strange guy. So, the head. Okay. You see what I mean. So, ah, it's okay. So, and now when everything is modeled, you can, of course, uh, choose the, the positions a bit more streamlined, like this. And oh, yeah, the names is, of course, body, neck. So, the neck is, is very boring too, I think. I'm afraid. Um, maybe we have to give them a bit style from the side too. So a bit higher. And of course you can, and this is uh, I, I didn't use uh, before. You can choose uh, a bunch of vertexes and rotate them. And so there's so much uh, possible to to bring it in the right uh, position you like. So, okay, and now the head, we not just vertexes, so I make it a bit tinier because I like it more tinier, so, and looking to the ground, okay, so, and now you're asking, what is this, and I say, no idea. <laughs> so it's a basic body, yeah. Um, and I have to watch what my bug. It's a bit thicker, yeah. Oh, it looks a bit more coolish uh, than than my new one. I, I'm afraid, <laughs> but it's because I'm not very concentrated here. Yeah. So uh, and and it's okay. So and, and the nice thing is um, because uh, this. Uh, Insects have uh, have this uh, exoskelet thing, um, so uh, you have to think uh, about animation later. Yeah, uh, when you're modeling a normal character, you have to subdivide uh, special uh, parts of the character that uh, there are no um, distortions and something. But in this case, you you know now every part of the body will be. Hard and and 
distort uh, nothing nothing distorts uh, via animation and so it's cool you can do what you want and it will working later so I do just a few things oh okay and and um, what I forget is uh, to to show you how I did some uh, subdivisions in my original model later yeah you see it's it's uh, prepared that the the wings uh, or, or it's not the wings it's uh, the cover of the body can uh, be variable yeah and it's very easy too I just grab um, now the polygons oh sorry I like to choose for this so And maybe we, um, yeah, why not split them from the body? And what we get is, sorry, this one. So a second uh, object with just the top of the body, yeah, and I do it, I hide it because it's, uh, I will have it for, for later operations. And now I choose um, extrude inner and shrink the whole thing. No, I make an extrusion and then I chain, uh, I, I choose a normal move and shrink the whole body a bit. So you see now I get this uh, little border yeah, and this is uh, fitting later with the top. You see, mm, nice trick, yeah, <laughs> not really. So and uh, yeah, I can give them a more proper uh, edge. And it means in this case, I just select uh, the edge and choose a bevel. Yeah, and okay. So, and now I again choose loop selection and just loop this new edge to bring it more in the direction I need. So, you see, it's like a, a Tupperware now <laughs> with this little border and later when we set this on, it fits. So, yeah, you see, I, it's, it's just fun. So, okay, 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 uh, what I have to do is um, now, I am maybe the dividing for, for the later, I show you the a later part of my model. Not so late. Same, or is it? Moment. To clear them. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe six. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can see. Here is some subdivisions. So, okay, and this is what we can do now. It's it's very easy to no no panic. So we are in this step, and then I just choose um, lines um, like this, 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 this. This, 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 this. Okay, when you're working uh, with symmetry, it's, it's a bit faster. So, that, that are the, the lines I like to subdivide. 
yeah and you see um, this one is, is a bit um, distorted so it's, it's a better idea before you subdivide it to uh, bring it in a more straight direction you know so you see no oh, it's a bit better Sack. okay and maybe uh, the back one too tuck, 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 tuck. so okay yeah and and you see in this moment it's just something is uh, I'm not watching the ori original bug because um, <laughs> I give up to to be uh, authentic um, from this moment, it's, it's just my own fantasy creature, and I give them the shape I, I like most. So, okay. So, oh, oh, oh. But what I forget is uh, when I change the the, the underground, or uh, over the top thing, maybe it didn't fit anymore, and so you change it to a bit. So, and in this. Case two. So it's okay. Okay. So now the flow, the poly flow is so oh, is flow. <laughs> it's okay. And I switch back to lines. My selection is still there. And now you just choose uh, bell two. So uh oh. Why? Moment, moment, I have to watch my original model, what I did there. Is, oh, yeah, no, no, it's the wrong way. You see, oh, why, why am I afraid? You see, when I bevel it, uh, in this part, there are triangles. And, of course, in my special case, it's not important, but in general, it's important not to uh, have triangles. So I didn't show you this way. Instead of this, we do more uh, subdividing to have the, the same subdividing I like to uh, become, but without triangles. Okay, so and that means we again choose loop, loop, loop. Yeah, and now we have to think about uh, what we like. And in this case, I like to to give them one, two, three maybe four uh, intersections and this means switch to knife and loop and subdivide here is the first one then maybe there is the second one you see now I have this and this intersection and oops the third one and for the last one I choose this okay and now make a new selection oops this 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 and this to show you what's the ones uh, I like to operate on okay and maybe I just choose the no oh, sorry one key oh. Like I said, it's not the best keyboard for this. So, and in this case, uh, because the selection is, is uh, one I need, I just choose deselection. When you hit the control key, you can deselect the groups. Whoop. Zack, zack, zack. Okay, it's great. So, and now I can uh, make this uh, intersection alike again with um, an extrude zack you see and in this case I get always quad angle polygons yeah and uh, one two three four one two three four and uh, you don't have to know why but it's better for, for the for modeling things now I, I tell you what. 
So, and okay, now I just do a extrude inner. So, and we have this intersections here. Yeah? And uh, the nice thing is when you have the selections, you can do a set selection and give them the name blue. Yeah, and oh, I have to, to make a short break because my meal is ready, I'm afraid. Moment. And the selection thing is it's very cool because, for example, you can give uh, the bark a material and uh, another one and yeah, call it uh, blue or something. It's it's uh, anyway. So and now you can give the body the uh, another material and. You know, it has a selection, it's called blue, and you choose in this material selection blue. So, and that means you can give uh, one 3D mesh uh, as much textures and, and materials uh, you like and can select via select selection, uh, freeze selection, how the uh, different materials should appear. So, and this is um, enough for now. You, you can do so much different things, uh, but, but uh, yeah, that, that won't help to, to show uh, more interesting because it's always the same stuff. Yeah? So you can choose uh, still in this day to, 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 to change some uh, thing and, and you can make what you want. Yeah, and this is a basic modeling stuff. <laughs> it's, it's no more. It's no special trick. You just have to, to know some basic uh, things about modeling and you can model anything you like. So, and in this case, I, I do the modeling more or less um, the same way uh, I did when, when I have to modeling some very precise stuff. So, uh, short working, switching on the subdivision surface. <laughs> you see, it's very funny. Yeah, and maybe when you need a very smooth bug or something, yeah, it's the same way. But in our case, we didn't need it. So, this is uh, enough um, support. <laughs> so, and uh, when you like to see uh, the raw polygons more, like in, in my example, you can choose all the form tags and setting them to a lower value. So. Now we have the original uh, low polygon back. <laughs> so, and the last interesting thing is uh, the the uh, last details are just uh, made. On, oh, oh, okay. We have to to show you uh, the way you can make this this uh, top of the body. Okay, and uh, in this case, I um, I choose. Uh, half of the polygons. Moment. Oh no. Um, first, I tell, call it top. Then I double it. Switch this off. Choose the first one, and all, not the polygons. It's important. The all the vertexes I just don't like. <laughs> so. Zack. It's just a half, and now I can call them uh, maybe top left, and the hidden one is top right. You know, yeah. This delete. Zack. So and now we have this beautiful wings. Not it's not the wheel wings are uh, the top of the. Uh, Body. So, and uh, because we're starting with a cube, uh, the uh, how it's called, the middle of the object is still in the middle of our body. And you can choose uh, to change this axis with this key. So, your model will be standing still, and you set the uh, rotation point on some point on the model you like. I do it on the top, yeah, and 
doing from the side. Mm, it's okay. It's, it's not very precise at the moment, but we can work with this. Yeah, and that means when I choose um, rotation something, now can rotate this stuff, you know, and yeah, we, we more or, or less finished. <laughs> so, and uh, yeah, the, the last thing is you you asking you, okay, uh, the, the back of the bark is just uh, thick as a polygon. No, it isn't. You can choose the, the boot choose all the um, polygons, or just from one at one time. All the polygons, select all, and again doing um, uh, one extrude. But, careful, you have to choose uh, preserve group is correct. We try. Yeah, it's interesting. I give them, uh, I like to give them a bit thickness, but when I just choose um, extrude and have the whole bunch, uh, the whole group selected. You see, he uh, he make a normal extrusion. But in this case, I like uh, that the uh, original polygon standing on his uh, first place. So I have to switch, uh, create caps, and then do the extrude. And you see, now we have a bit thickness. And select all, and here the same. Okay, so for the moment it's okay, you know. So of course you you have to to uh, handle that the stuff didn't uh, intersect with the head or something. Yeah, but uh, it's it's not so important for me right now. You can uh, choose your your own stuff to handle this okay yeah what's what's left the legs because you see in, in my model yeah uh, even the the legs are uh, really connected with the body there are just two <laughs> this is funny because uh, i just put some uh, of this objects or uh, yeah or spheres <laughs> under uh, the back yeah and we can do it the same here <laughs> just a sphere and choose um, very less polygons. Yeah, be, be, because I'll, I like to have some uh, of this um, crystal-like stuff on, on the ground of the body. I, I didn't remember, right? So, um, standard, like this, okay. See, it's, it's very, very, um, Sheep done, yeah. So, and another one here. So, and it's 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 all what I did in, in the past, yeah. It's true, you can see it here. But you know um, the the fin, fin, final movie, and uh, now you maybe think. Yeah, I didn't see it in a movie. That is just uh, some uh, spheres on the ground of this park. Yeah, you didn't see it in a movie. So why I should model it? <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's not visible. So anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm not the 3D uh, perfectionist guy that have to model a anything on on uh, on this uh, insect. Uh, and uh, working on stuff that uh, no one see like that. so okay <laughs> so and the easiest thing I did is and, and um, the laziest thing are the legs because the legs are just um, you can see it in an earlier version here no in a, no in this earlier version the legs oh see I choose the symmetry object for the legs because the legs are uh, a bit more uh, detailed uh, as the body and so but it's are just um, kegel 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 the, the English word for kegel is cone the whole legs are just built out of cones so I choose this and bring this in my scene 
<laughs> Great. We'll take them. So, yeah. Great. So now, what I did is um, just choose uh, the cone. You see that there are original cones. And uh, just choose different parameters like um, the top radius, like um, this. And give them caps. Zack, zack. You know, and uh, what I have to do now is just lower the segments. Uh, I think I choose six. And uh, you can see what I did when I lower the form. So, switch to more with a bit. Okay, and you see, like this, and this cone, it's equal. So, yeah, and now you, you know I'm really very 50, oh, radius, maybe 10. Yeah, that's okay. More here, less there. So, and now it's very easy. Yeah, I, I just stick uh, this, this uh, cone stuff in the body. You see, copy them. So, like this. Okay, scale them a bit. See, it's very, very easy. I, I do uh, the easy thing, but uh, yeah, the, the legs of this bug didn't look very complex, so choose this one. And now a few of you will say, oh, this is easy. Yeah, it's easy. <laughs> it's the only thing I told you guys the whole time. Yeah, everything in 3D is just easy stuff. You just have to, to find your own ways doing them. So, okay, it's enough. So, and, and now, um, you see, I um, give them uh, as a child, and now I give them to a zero object. So, okay. I make this so and uh, yeah you just have to to um, maybe uh, copy this and, and re replace and, and maybe um, change the dimensions a bit or something yeah but it's, it's very fast done and um, okay like this so You know what I mean. So, and and uh, when you doing uh, one side, you can of course choose um, symmetry. Zack, doing it there and whoops. Oh, sorry. Zack, yeah. And you have this on the other side too. Okay. So <laughs> it looks a bit stranger than than my first approach. So, and, and the rest of, of the bag you can put uh, in a uh, zero object too. Zack. So, and it makes it more easier to, to find a better position or something. Yeah, you know, like this. Okay, you see, it's more or less what I did. Yeah? <laughs> the, the really interesting part of, of the bag, uh, the, the later look of the bag, is. Uh, the, the texturing thing and the body is very easy. So you see, it's okay for now. It's a four leg bug. So, no, it is a little detail I, I missed. Of course, you're right. It's just this. Um, uh, I don't know how it's called in. in uh, English, so the tag tag, <laughs> and because 
we can put in symmetry and everything is in symmetry. So this is a basic model. Yeah, it's it's enough for now. You see, it's it's very easy. It's it's no special stuff. And um, I ending here because um, I have to work today. Again, yeah, it's it's a weekend, but I have to work a bit. And uh, this is all I like to show you today. It's a real bug. So giving a nice ground. Or maybe you see it's it's uh, always good to to give a ground to uh, have the the legs in, in a right position, you know. So and this little one, like this, okay. So okay, so I save it to wood this and bug making modeling. Back. Oh, I didn't save any steps. You know, it's it's sometimes better to 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 save steps because when when you are uh, doing something wrong, you can go and step back. And modeling from this, and yeah, of course, uh, I like to have a white bug. <laughs> so like this. Ta -da! Oh, the sun is a bit bluish. Shoes uh, later time, yeah. Ta -da! And of course, we need some global illumination to make it look beautiful. <laughs> so, okay, yeah, that's right. Um, no, that's all for today. It's it's just a basic modeling of, of this uh, very very raw bug, but you see what uh, comes uh, yeah what what it will, will uh, show at the end and this is interesting because there is not much working on this bug just uh, basic modeling and and uh, raw rigging and uh, a bit clever texturing and it, it uh, looks very interesting in, in the final movie and this is uh, what i am always like to to tell uh, everyone to uh, like to start with 3d you just have to do uh, what you have to do. <laughs> so, in this case, it's, it's not uh, needed to to uh, modeling a very high detailed, uh, real looking uh, bug like this, because I didn't need them to uh, make an interesting movie out of them. Okay, that's all for now. It's it's we we. Have oh it's it's one oh, okay 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 I I speaking too much while I show things, um, but I hope uh, you you learn a bit and um, yeah the next part is maybe uh, a bit more interesting it's uh, it's the rigging of the bug yeah to give uh, the, this mesh the possibility to to anim be animated and uh, yeah uh, the rigging is and and the texturing of course yeah how how the bug can look like stone. And uh, yeah, there are some more interesting parts like the antenna, uh, the folding, and uh, maybe at the end uh, the setup of, of the whole scene to, to look like a realistic set. Okay, that's all for me today. I, I hope uh, I, I find uh, the, the time for, for the next step and didn't have to wait as long as uh, from the first one. I'm, I'm Sure, we can have the next one in, in the next week or so, or, or maybe in, in two weeks, because um, at the moment there is a uh, free time for me. But yeah, you know how it works. Okay, so this is uh, Mo Tenzin, aka Kai Tenemann from Mosai TV. I hope you like this um, a bit and uh, give me uh, a thumb up uh, to. Yeah, it's, it's 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 a YouTube thing, you know. Give me a thumb up so more people can find this uh, tutorial and and find my channel. And it's always for me uh, more motivation because more viewers uh, means more uh, more views and for me, of course, uh, more a bit more money. Yeah, I become money from YouTube. Yeah, it's not much. Uh, 
twenty dollars in amount or something. So maybe one time it's fifty dollars in amount. So uh, yeah, but, but it's okay. It's it's a motivation for me to to uh, become more viewers. So don't forget to give the thumb up if you like. When you don't like this tutorial, it's okay to give no thumb. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> so that's all for me for now. More Tenzin and Fasten Seatbelts for the next thing. I hope you like it. And yeah, there's um, so much more stuff to come this year. I, I made uh, two interesting movies in, in the last two months. And there is so much interesting stuff to talk about. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. Bye-bye.